In today's video guys, I'm gonna be showing you the top 5 best methods in order to fix FPS drops here in Fortnite in Season 4. In the first place guys, now what I want you to do is go into your Windows search bar and type in the temporary until you can find delete temporary files, open it up in the first place, and once you're in here you're going to find temporary files, which you can see is already almost 6 gigs, but what we want to actually mainly focus around here guys is our DirectX shader cache and our delivery optimization files. Sometimes both of these files here can be corrupted which can cause stutter, FPS drops, or even game crashes in Fortnite, so therefore make sure that both of these are actually checked and then you're gonna click under remove files and wait for your windows to fully actually remove all of these here. Next up we're gonna go into our file explorer, go under our local disk C, then program files, search up the epic games launcher, then we're gonna go into fortnite, then we can see here fortnite engine, binaries, windows 64 and once we scroll down we can see all the fortnite access which are available. Search up the normal fortnite client windows 64 shipping access, go into properties and once in here we're gonna check in our compatibility and make sure to disable full screen optimization. And then the same folder guys we're going to scroll up all the way here until we can find easy anti-cheat camu open it up and in there now we have easy anti-cheat setup double click onto it and launch it and now you can see current game 217 which is basically a code for fortnite and we're gonna click under repair services and our easy anti-cheat will get uninstalled and reinstalled successfully and then we're gonna click under finish and we're good to go with this step as well next up go into your epic games launcher and click under library until you can find fortnite then click onto these three dots and go under options and in here now you want to make sure that you only have fortnite core and battle royale actually installed, especially not high risk textures or DirectX 12 shaders, since both of these can actually cause crashes and then we're gonna go down and under languages guys you should only have your main language. Then we're gonna go again under these three dots and go under manage and in here now we have verified files where we're going to click onto it because sometimes there might be some corrupted files in your Fortnite folder which are actually causing FPS drops or stutter so therefore make sure to do this once in a while, especially if you're keeping the same copy of Fortnite over and over again and it's basically just getting updated every single season. And if there are any corrupted files it's going to automatically re-download them so don't worry or if there are no issues then it's going to tell you launch again and you can hop back in game. Additionally to that in the Epic Games launcher we're gonna click under our name and go here now under settings then we're gonna scroll down all the way until we can find actually Fortnite, open this up here with this small arrow, make sure to actually check additional command line arguments and paste in all of the following ones which you can find in the video description. Land play, no splash, no texture streaming and use all available cores. Therefore we can tell our PC to fully focus on Fortnite and give it its maximum performance so that we can get the highest FPS out of our system. Additionally to that guys, I'm now also going to give you the best game user settings for competitive Fortnite in season 4 with the best settings for maximum FPS applied. You can get this whole entire file on my official website and once you get it on your desktop it should look exactly like this here. Then we're gonna go into his Windows search bar. Then we're just simply gonna go into a Windows search bar, type in that percenter, temp percenter and open it up. Click under local, press F on our keyboard for Fortnite game, save, config, Windows client and in there now we're going to delete our current game user settings file and just simply make sure to replace it with the new one. Then you can also open Open it up and scroll down all the way where it says now resolution sizes x and y and apply exactly the search resolution which you guys are using. By the way I've read near on screen a video with the top 3 best resolutions for low end PCs you should maybe check it out afterwards. And as a final step now guys we're going to take a look at malware bytes which you can find a link to on my official website as well. This is literally the best tool for, to scan your whole entire PC for any sort of malware, spyware, corrupted startup items, registry files or system files which could somehow slow down your PC and even clicks has been using this tool so therefore we know that it's actually really safe and easy to use guys just some let it here finish now the process you can see now well over 150,000 files have been already scanned here for any corrupted files guys or anything which could somehow slow down our pc so we're just going to simply wait for it to actually finish and then you can see as a summary i had no corrupted files here on my pc so therefore i'm going to click under done and we're already good to go and close the program